Well, we are doing our 20 towns in 20 days, and today we're heading to a place in East Granby with some dark history. It's the old Newgate prison. And meteorologist Connor Lewis is joining us now with more on this piece of Connecticut history. Connor. Mark Aaron, super cool place up here in East Granby. Beautiful views, but just so much history. I've been learning a lot. And the person that's been teaching me all this is Morgan Bangle. You're the curator here. You have so many facts and, you know, uh, we only have so much time. But can you kind of just tell me about what this place is and how it came to be? We got the mine, we got the prison, um, these kind of two layers here. Yeah, exactly. So Old Newgate is the first chartered copper mine, 1707, and first state prison, 1773, in North America. It's a national historic landmark, and today we operate as a museum. Visitors are able to come explore the copper mine and the prison yard above ground. And what is one of the most interesting fun facts that you think um, when, whenever you're um, explaining this to people? Yeah, one of the interesting fun facts or just the the best part about Newgate is it's an authentic experience. So when you're in the copper mine, it is cold, wet, and dark, similar to how it would have been for the miners and the men who were incarcerated down there. So we're always encouraging people to think about the senses and what it feels like for them. Yeah, and we were down there earlier, and you're probably seeing that video now. It's cold. It's always 52 degrees. Uh, there's water coming from the ceiling, from the rocks. It is just, uh, this is not the prison anyone would want to be in. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, um, you can really feel um, kind of claustrophobic down there um, as well. So um, what are some of the things that people say when they come out of it, their experience? Yeah, most people, um, they think it's cool and unique. So you're in a copper mine, um, and it's fairly um, you know, easy to get down there. It's 35 feet and then 75 feet. So most people are, are very intrigued by it, but they're also taken aback by the history and recognize it as being a very dark, inhumane past. And so can you tell us about this entrance that we see right behind us right here? Yep, this entrance was built in 1972 when the state took over the site from private ownership. Before that, miners prisoners and tourists went down a ladder um, so now we have these very you know modern stairway um, and that's how you enter into the mine very cool yeah so and you guys have a fall themed event going on through the month can you tell me about that we do for the month of october we have 300 jack-o-lanterns in the copper mine it is called light into the dungeon this is a way of honoring the season um while also uh you know honoring the the past and and moving away from kind of dead prisoner history um so this is our approach to um october yeah, so it's, it's family friendly, but, you know, obviously there's a lot of some heavy history behind it as well. So uh, great, um, great job explaining that all to me. Thank you so much, Morgan. We're going to have much more coming up in the next half hour. For now, I'm live in East Granby, Connor Lewis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.